we're going to be working the shoulders today and your shoulders are really instrumental in most of your yoga practice but they also make a big difference in how you look as well so you know inner beauty is more important of course but we want to look toned so let's start right on the hands and knees and in order to work the shoulders you're going to see we're going to move through a range of motion so first one in plank position you'll start to feel the shoulders kind of warming up here and we'll warm up with what i like to call hot lizards so hot lizards alternating in the hand to the chest this is one two we'll do ten three four pull the belly in five six seven eight nine ten good so hopefully you're feeling a little warm now rolling onto your left side in a side plank you're going to use that full left shoulder here so just lower the hips and lift the hips if you need to use the top leg for support you can use that and then press into that foot that will help you a little bit if your shoulders aren't strong yet and with time they'll strengthen and you will see a great improvement not only in the way that they feel and the strength but also in the way that they look but if you can keep the legs straight ten of these You've got two more last one beautiful and lower down now we'll do the other side so just transition to the right hand down on the mat legs straight if you want to use the top leg for support feel free left hand on the left hip lower and lift move with the breath ten of these feel that shoulder strength you could even take your opposite hand to the shoulder and just feel the muscles that are working here you got five more four three last two last one beautiful just like that now let's transition back on the hands and knees another really great shoulder practice is if you come down onto your forearm press back into dolphin so the hips are up in the sky and then we'll come from dolphin press back into downward dog and from downward dog coming all the way into plank plank chaturanga chaturanga up dog so this is our transition so dolphin press back into downward dog downward dog into plank lower into chaturanga up into upward dog now if that's too difficult go with the knees down okay so then you can still do sort of a dolphin and then press back in the downward dog keep the hips up and then when you come into your plank position you're on the forearm and then you can lower in the sphinx pose instead of upward dog so this is the more uh, beginner version if your shoulders are super weak or if uh, you've had any injury but otherwise see if you can keep the arms straight and coming into the full version upward dog dolphin press back in a downward dog plank chaturanga up dog dolphin and then downward dog last time plank chaturanga upward dog dolphin and then downward dog beautiful Woo. so you can see like every little practice you got to focus your awareness on the part of the body that we're working on. And the next one we'll do is uh, interlacing the fingers just like this. We'll come into a variation kind of prep for headstand, but this is where you're going to build a lot of strength for your shoulders. So the crown of the head comes in between the hands and you lift the hips like you're going into dolphin or downward dog, but at the same time you keep your head in between your forearms but you just want to have your head sort of grazing there so you're not putting any weight on your head or neck and you're pressing in to the ground into the mat with your elbows and forearms fingers are interlaced so you feel the strength coming from that palm where the hands are touching that's where the strength root is coming from pressing into the earth to the elbows and we'll hold here for 10 breaths see if you can keep the knees nice and straight if it's difficult for you bend the knees that's fine and then work towards having the knees straight breathe into it keep pressing the chest back towards the thighs you'll feel the shoulders burning after a few breaths you got five more four more three more last two and last one and lower 
Ah, whew. And the next one, we'll do crow pose. Crow pose is an arm balance. And if you're not familiar with this one, it's one of the fundamental arm balances of yoga. You'll come onto your toes is the best way to get started. Your knees are a little wider than your shoulders. Palms are shoulder distance apart. And then fingers spread nice and wide. And you want to make a little bit of a claw with the knuckles. So you kind of claw the ground. That'll give you some traction. And then lift your hips. So the first step here is just see if you can put your knees right on the top of the armpit, kind of by your, uh, with the top of the shoulder here. And then putting the weight into your into your palms, lifting one leg at a time, just testing it, putting the weight into the palms, use the shoulder strength here, lift one leg up and back, see if you can do it. Now we're gonna try both legs together. If it's too difficult for you in the beginning, no problem, just stay with one leg at a time and use your core and your shoulder strength. Otherwise, we'll go with the full crow. Full crow, you're gonna transition, knees are right there at the top of the tricep, and then lift, and pressing into the palm, lift the feet and hold. Beautiful. And then release. So this is a practice when you're working on advanced yoga poses that all of the arm balances are super strengthening for your shoulders. So any of the arm balances are going to really help. That crow is a great prep for all of the other transitions, also for handstand as well, which we'll be getting into in some of my more advanced tutorials. All right, another great one that I like to work the shoulders is starting from forward bend, palms are flat, and all you do is you shift your weight into the hands, lift your heels as high as you can, putting all the weight into your hands, just like this. And if you can, even just lift one foot up or the other. This also works your core, but if you can, lift both feet up. So I call these, this is a handstand prep practice that I teach in my teacher training. You put all the weight into the hands, lock the shoulders in place, lock the lats in place, really strengthens in this upper body, but the shoulders are doing a lot of the work. And then just shifting the weight into the hand and release. So see if you can get a little float in there. Just one more. Beautiful. Now step the left foot forward, the right foot back. And we'll show one more awesome little practice that will really strengthen your shoulders here. Palms on either side of the front foot. Here we are in a lunge. And we'll be doing what I call flying ninjas. So the palms are on either side of the shoulders. And you're going to ground into those palms, lifting that back knee, pressing into the earth. See if you can float the front leg back and the back leg forward. So you're just alternating lunge position. So now the right foot is forward, grounding into the palms. All of the strength is coming from your shoulders, your upper back, and your chest here. So it's just a little transition, just like this. We'll do 10. So I got seven more. Six, five, four, last three, last two, last one. Woo! And lower down. Beautiful. So the last part of the shoulders here, we're going to press back into the plank position and rolling over to one side plank, a little lift in the hips and come back to plank and side plank on the other side. So alternating side plank, center and breathe. You can do it. We'll do 10 on each side. Okay. Moving with the breath is the key because you don't want to move too fast when you're when you're putting in a lot of effort and you can get injured. So just slow and steady. Moving with grace. Use the strength here. And if you get tired, feel free to rest. You got it. Last three. Last two. Last 
Last one. And release. Woo! And puppy pose. Melt your heart to the floor. Stretch it out. Stretch out those shoulders. Woo! That's a deep one. We'll finish with just a little shoulder stretch. The sitting. And <laughs> oh, sweating is good. Sweating is so good for you. Okay, the right arm up, the left arm back, down and around, and binding your hands together behind you. If you can't reach your hands together like this, you can use a strap or your shirt, <laughs> whatever you got to hold your hands together and then walking your hands towards each other to get deeper into it and then stretch it out. You want to stretch the front and the back of the shoulder through both sides. Other arm up, bind them together, breathe into it. Be sure and practice this video every day. If you're looking for some real specific results, you have to put in the disciplined action and effort. Here's one more, just a couple of circles back. Back. Ah, open it up. Five to the back, we'll go five to the front. And then five to the front. Circle and breathe. Ah, let the blood flow. This is still very toning and strengthening. Another really good one is out to the side like this. Little circles. Little circles. And bigger circles. Beautiful job today. Practice with me often. I'll see you again in the next video. Have a blessed day. Namaste.